So my, my father has recently started a journey with dementia. And um, it's a hard thing to try to understand. It's hard to watch someone you love um, hit these kind of barriers in their thinking and their remembering. And it's, it's just emotional and it's confusing. And so when I got back from visiting him, I found myself trying to process, trying to process what's going on. How is it affecting him? How is it affecting me? How is it affecting my mother? Um, and my biggest question is, what does it feel like to him? What does it look like if I were able to see? And so the first trip that I visited, when I came back, I did these flat tile pieces. And that was really focusing on the idea of the brain and what was happening in it. And some of them look a little bit more uh, literal interpretation of brain matter. And then they started to get a little bit more freer and art and, and concept uh, based as far as what's going on. So we have this big barrier here between top and bottom that's kind of gotten all fuzzy and crunchy and, and not letting top and bottom relate to each other anymore. And then we have birds that are, that are fleeing. And so it, it's really me processing a lot of emotion about what, what it feels like to me. And then this was probably four or five months later, I went back again, which was my most recent trip. And of course, things are progressing for him. And his memory is getting weaker and weaker as far as short-term memory. And we talk about it a little bit, he and I. And um, I had told him one time when we were talking, because I think it makes him feel inferior and it makes him uh, feel scared, I'm sure, and makes him feel old. And so we were out walking one night and I said, you know, Dad, I think what I see in my mind is a sponge that's very, very full of water. And then there's a spill on the table and we need to mop that spill up with that sponge and the sponge is involved and it's moving on the table and it's moving the spill around but when you pick it up nothing more has gone into the sponge because it can't there's no room for it there anymore and so like I told him it's not it's not a bad sponge it's just a very full sponge and it, it, it's reached its limitation of what it can hold anymore so it can't hold that short term and um, when I came home from this trip, I started working on these larger bus pieces and, and really thinking about that, how the memories, they're there, but they just, they can't be held. And so this will actually burn out some when it's fired because this is gauze that's been dipped in slip and it's around a wire armature. So I'm hoping some of this burns out or becomes very, very thin and you'll be able to see the fragility of it and all the holes that it just, it can't hold and so we have all this dripping of slip that's kind of not not going and staying anywhere it's kind of applied and and it was active with the piece but it can't stay it just is moving down and I'm sure this work will keep changing as he keeps changing and as my understanding and I'm not interested in you know I have been looking at some medical and scientific information but truth be told, I don't think they really know in medical field either what, what exactly is happening. And I'm not as much interested in what exactly is happening scientifically as to how does it feel emotionally? How does it feel to him? I, th I think like when you walk in a room and you went in with purpose to get something and you stand there and go, why am I here? Is that what his whole day is like? That empty of why am I here? So that's what I'm trying to figure out.